Let's take a quick look at the pan tilt mount for the 500 series monitors by Small HD. Um, we made this pan tilt mount to solve a few problems, and it's mainly problems found with typical ball mounts that go in a hot shoe. Uh, so this is a replacement for this, but it's superior because with a ball mount, there's a couple of two, two main problems, I guess. When you try to adjust the monitor, sometimes it can spin off the threads, the quarter 20 threads that are on here, and that's really frustrating. The other issue is that when you're trying to make an adjustment the right way, it requires two hands. You have one hand to reduce the friction here and then one hand to adjust um, the mount. And, and that's a little bit annoying. So with this product, um, it mounts to the back of the 500 series monitor and goes right into a, a standard hot shoe and allows you to do adjustments with one hand. So if, you're, if your other hand is occupied, which most often it is, you can, do, you can tilt like this for high shots or, or low shots. Um, you can even twist it to the side um, where needed, and it's just really convenient uh, little pan tilt friction mount. Um, not only is it helpful in this type of environment where you're shooting on top of a small lightweight camera, but on a gimbal rig as well. Um, you'd be able to make these adjustments with where you're only going to have one hand free at most in that kind of situation. So let's look at how to install the pan tilt mount. First, you'll want to remove the little quarter 20 block that we call a nugget from the bottom of your 500 series monitor using a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench. And that comes off. And in its place, you'll install the pan tilt mount. And you can see you just put the screws back into these locations. And again, this is really convenient because um, it goes right into that location. And this actually can fold up and become nice and compact when you're, when you're done with the day. Um, down here, there's a spring-loaded mechanism that allows you to install this into a hot shoe without the, you know, the threaded uh, piece, and, it, and it's a nice uh, pressurized installation. Now let me show you how to install it and uninstall it on a hot shoe. So if it's already on there, you'll just pull back on the spring, and that will ultimately just slide it right off the hot shoe. Um, and then when you want to install, you just pull back on the spring and slide it into the hot shoe. And then once it's there, depending on the hot shoe, you'll need to press on the spring to give a nice tight uh, fit. And once that's done, it should just pan and tilt. And just make sure that your pan and tilt friction adjustment is set appropriately. And, um, and it should be as easy as that.